Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know, my name is Ollie, and today's video, there's a few things. One, we sat in my kitchen because it's the coolest room in my house right now because I'm seeing a heat wave, it's hot. Also, with a hat on because if I didn't have a hat on, I haven't done my hair today because it's very, very warm. My hair, it doesn't like the heat, it gets gross. So, the hat. Nonetheless, it's still a video, it's still a great vegan food video kind of vibe. Today's video is my top, it's not 10 here, but it's actually not 10, I'm really sorry, it's really poor. Today's video is my top, I think there's eight, my top vegan restaurants. Some of them aren't vegan restaurants, just have really good vegan food. So it's just me giving you some of my favorite recommendations for vegan food around Manchester, because I don't know if any of you are from Manchester, but if you ever come to visit Manchester and you're a vegan, or you're not a vegan, you want good food, visit these places, okay? Just, just trust me. Let's just get straight on to the video. These aren't in any order. It's not in order of favorite or preference or anything. But the first one is amazing. I can't know, sorry. The first one is really good. The first one is a place called V Revs. And it's lit this is in Manchester Northern Quarter, I'm pretty sure. I'm not pretty sure. I, I know. It is V Revs in Manchester Northern Quarter. I know. A bit like a vegan fast food kind of thing. Like it's burgers, hot dogs, pancakes, waffles, nachos, fries, dirty fries. Like, they do a lot and it's all really good. Amazing milkshakes. I always go for their, like, we do like a cheap vegan cheeseburger. And if you know me, you know I love a burger. And I always go for a burger and it is amazing. I also have had a peanut butter milkshake there, which is really nice. Their food is like, it kind of is a bit like how I imagine American food food to be like the portions and the size it's all very big so milkshake for me a lot it was very sickly and yada 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 it was amazing it was so nice and me and my best friend jess have been there a few times actually it's really really good and i highly recommend it if you like kind of like vegan -y junk food things the next one which again is a full vegan place it's called in manchester and it's not northern quarter i can't think where else in manchester this one is but it's not far from like the center it's called the allotment and they are really good oh actually i went there in one of my videos before with jess where my best friend chose what i ate for a day we went there and it was amazing i can't remember what i had now did i have duck i want to say I wanted to say that I had like vegan duck or something, but I can't honestly remember. But what I do know is that like, Jess chose for me because that was a video. So I don't, I remember Jess had ramen. Jess had ramen. Oh, I had tacos. I had tacos. Not duck. Very different. I had tacos and they were amazing. Like really good. It's like food is kind of like, we do a lot. We do things like ramen, tacos. We did do duck. I think we did nachos. We did vegan fish and chips. Like they did a lot and it was really good. It was really cool and quirky in there. So the lot minutes are a really good place to go. Okay, I'm from there i can't lie the rest are chains i am sorry but these are my favorite places to go and i'm recommending them if you haven't this next one nando's i know that's a chicken shop i know as a vegan i shouldn't be supporting a chicken shop okay everyone says that however the vegan wrap at nando's is phenomenal like genuinely amazing i'm going to tell you my nando's order because who doesn't look here everyone else's nando's order i always get a great imitator wrap now with barbecue and garlic sauce like that's new i used to always get Perry Tamer, hashtag Saffron Barker, if you know, you know. I also get one portion of Perry salted chip, and then I also either get garlic bread or broccoli. Depends on me, it depends on trying to be healthy or not, you know, you know, spice it up. And I always get a bottomless drink, Coke Zero. It also comes in a pita, and it also comes in a burger. I used to get the burger, but it's when I tried the wrap, and all oh, my life changed. My life changed. Phenomenal. Next one is Pizza Express because they do, obviously, if you, I hope everyone agrees here, their dough balls. <laughs> amazing. The Pizza Express dough balls are literally one of the best things in the actual world. And if you don't agree, well, then you're wrong. But they do vegan dough balls now and they are phenomenal. And they are, oh, even their pizzas and their vegan pasta is really good. Pizza Express have quite a few vegan options and they've recently partnered up with Quorn, I'm pretty sure. And they have like a egg meat vegan pizza now. And I keep meaning to go to try it, but I've not been for like a few weeks or something. And I really, really want to go. So if anyone wants to go with me, hit me up and let's go try some vegan pizza at Pizza Express. Next one, similar to Menando's. It's controversial because I'm supporting a chicken shop and I'm a vegan, but hey. This next one is the KFC vegan burger. <gasps> when I tell you it is one of the best things I have ever eaten, I am not joking. It is beautiful. It should not be legal how nice it is. Like me and my boyfriend George, we are obsessed with that burger. It comes like a seeded kind of brioche, kind of not bun. And it's like a crispy corn chicken fillet with lettuce and vegan mayo. <gasps> 
It is amazing. Like, I'm not even actually even joking. It is one of my favorite things in the entire world. But the KFC chips aren't vegan, just FYI. They're not vegan. I don't know why they're not, but we just always say we're not vegan. So I go, whoa, hold the chips. But I always drive around the KFC drive through and go through McDonald's drive through and get me McDonald's Coke and chips. What I don't get is why would you make a vegan burger and not make your chips vegan too? Just strange. So this next one is Revolution. I feel like most people call it Revs. I actually don't know anyone who calls it Revolution, but hey, we're gonna be proper. Revolution, Revs, they do this amazing vegan pizza. I've been for a few times for bottomless brunch at Revs, and I've had their pizza every time, because it's like, it's a vegan margarita pizza, and it is just honestly amazing. Like, I can't actually explain how amazing it really, really is. But that's Revs, and their vegan pizza is phenomenal. Their next one, Oh, I love this one. This one is probably in my top three favorites. This one is Yo Sushi. I love Yo Sushi. Something about Yo Sushi feels so American and like I'm sat on a TV show or something when like the conveyor belt spins around and brings your food to you and you order it on the app and it stops in front of you and like the light that goes green. Like Yo Sushi is a bit of an experience. I always get their pumpkin katsu kind of thing. And me also, I also always get, always, always get vegan avocado avocado rolls because oh my gosh there's actually nothing better than the avocado rolls but you also do like these like i actually don't know what's in these ones but it's my other sushi rolls and i don't know what's in them but they're like they have like a dressing on them and like flakes and oh they are phenomenal actually anyone else who eats sushi you know when you buy them from like tesco or sainsbury's or whatever and they come in those little like plastic boxes and you open them we've got like the plastic fish for soy sauce does anyone else get the first piece and put a little bit on and then a little bit on the next one and then by the end of the final sushi piece they've got like half a bottle of the soy sauce left and they just pour it all on and it just tastes like soy sauce. Anyone else do that? Please let me know if someone else does that because every time I have sushi that happens I just get this much soy sauce left and I'm like hmm. The final one is Wagamama's. Oh my god. I think your sushi and Wagamama type of food is probably my favorite type of food after burgers in the world. And we do like a vegan duck rice dish thing and Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord of Harry Styles and Beyonce. They should not be legally allowed to make something that nice because I'm addicted. I'm obsessed. I am in love with it. Oh, they do bow buns as well and they're like these fluffy clouds of bow and you're like, Arr. That was my highly recommended vegan restaurant list of Manchester. Definitely, definitely check out those restaurants because they are amazing. And if you go to them, tell them I sent you and hope they'll get something gifted. Or a black card at Nando's. Can you imagine having a black card at Nando's? Is it a black card? Is it a gold card? I know now Horan has one. It's a card where you go to Nando's and you can, everything you order is for free. You get everything for free that you want because you have this card. Nando's are never going to give a vegan a black card. Um, what, what, what? But that is the end of today's video. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed, smash a like button and subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss another video from me. And I will see you very, very soon with another video. Thank you.